This leopard gecko was surrendered today, and unfortunately, she's in pretty bad shape. She's a four to five year old adult female, and we're going to call her Clea. Clea has quite a few issues going on. We suspect she has a pretty severe vitamin A deficiency, also known as hypovitaminosis A. She's emaciated and absolutely covered in stuck shed. She has mouth rot, also known as stomatitis, and appears to have mild metabolic bone disease. This is where things get a bit graphic. Retained shed cut off circulation in her toes, and as we removed it, we could see some had fallen off and others were necrotic. These necrotic toes will fall off on their own, but she's definitely going to need antibiotics. We removed a lot of infectious material from her mouth, like that big piece there. And even though Nicole was being really gentle and just using a cotton swab, clearing out her mouth caused quite a bit of bleeding. We often see mouth rot as a secondary symptom of hypo-A, along with general eye issues. Next, Nicole began to clear out her eyes, and they also had a lot of infectious material and retained shed in them. While I'm sure these treatments weren't entirely pleasant for her, I'm sure it was also relieving to get all of that gunk out of her eyes. Her rubbery jaw and kink tail make it pretty clear she has some mild MBD, so we treated with some oral calcium and then some powdered vitamin A mixed with water. We suspect this doesn't taste very good because most geckos try to spit it up. After administering it, we like to hold them for a few seconds while they get it down. We started off with just 0.5 cc's of carnivore care. She actually took it willingly and seemed to enjoy it. Nicole used our formulary to calculate the correct dosage for the antibiotics. She used a 29 gauge needle, which is very tiny and should have caused very little pain. First, we applied some BNP ointment to her eyes and some SSD cream to her feet. Clea's gonna have a long road to recovery, but we're optimistic for her prognosis and we'll keep you up to date. It's only been a couple days and Clea the leopard gecko is already looking so much better. She's still a little bit squinty, but she's keeping her eyes open and she had enough energy to put up a big fuss about taking her calcium. The most drastic improvement can be seen in her mouth. The inflammation from her stomatitis, also known as mouth rot, is pretty much gone. She's still syringe feeding carnivore care willingly, but her eyes are doing so much better that I'm pretty sure we'll have her eating insects by the end of the week. Her toes are much closer to falling off, which while sad, is ultimately what needs to happen. It's really common for us to get in leopard geckos with missing toes due to retained shed. That's why it's really important to provide a humid hide and check their toes after each shed to prevent that from happening. Fortunately, they tend to do okay without those toes, so it shouldn't really affect her mobility at all. We applied more SSD cream to her feet and more BNP ointment to her eyes before calling it a day, but not before Mr. Newton popped in to say hi. It's only been one week since Miss Clea the leopard gecko was surrendered, and yesterday she willingly took a few live insects. While it's always promising when an animal starts to eat on their own, it's especially exciting for Clea because it shows her vision has improved enough that she can see the insects. Her body condition is already looking much better as well, and we have high hopes that she's going to make it through this just fine. A few of those necrotic toes have already fallen off, and the rest are close to doing so. And luckily, we're not seeing any signs of infection. Though her metabolic bone disease was very mild, we're still treating her with some oral calcium to help strengthen her bones. Unfortunately, she's still not a big fan of the taste. We're continuing to apply SSD cream to her toes as well. We've had a few people ask what SSD is. It stands for silver sulfadiazine cream, and it's an antimicrobial. It's commonly used to treat burns, but it's great for preventing infection in all sorts of wounds. Thank you all for continuing to root for Clea. Clea was surrendered to us 30 days ago and was in severe condition. She had eye issues due to hypovitaminosis A and was covered in retained shed, which had caused some of her toes to go necrotic and fall off. It's been a month since she was surrendered and she's looking like a completely different leopard gecko. Her eyes are completely open and seem to be fully functioning again. With really severe cases of hypo A, we'll sometimes see corneal scarring that affects their vision permanently. Luckily, that doesn't seem to be the case with Clea. She's also put on a lot of weight, and all of those necrotic toes have fallen off and we didn't see any sign of infection. She's all ready to be adopted by her new forever home, and we just want to thank everybody that donates towards the rescue and makes our work possible.